So this video is going to explain a few things about our new tall bike and some of the features that we built into it. So let's take a look at what we got here. It has two drive trains called the vertical chain, the idler chain. One thing you'll notice is this chain tensioner right here to keep the chain pushed out. If you don't do that, the chain tends to fall off the front chain ring over there. Uh, there's no derailleur here. Kept the shifter from the original bike, but you can't use these uh, larger cogs on the back because it causes the chain to cross and it causes interference between these two chains. Uh, Dennis's innovation on this bike, pretty nice. We drilled a hole in the handlebar stem, ran the axle through it, well, cut the hub, ran the axle through it and pinched it all together. That worked out really well. As you can see, we used on the upper frame, we used about a 17 inch frame and the lower frame looks like it's around a 23. The one problem with that is the cockpit on the upper bike is very small for a tall person like myself. So we had to use a, uh, the seat post is extended out all the way and what we've yet to do is put a set of riser bars on it and we'll take care of that at some point later. Let's go out and take it for a spin. So it actually just rides like a normal bike. The use of a uh, comfort or bike path bike on the bottom layer is a pretty good one. Very stable geometry. When you stop at stop signs, it's a really good idea to find something very tall to stand on. This is something you got to see. You're dominating traffic. See, you look down on the roofs of cars. 